Hey guys, welcome back to Cyberhack. So today I'm going to be talking about programming languages. Although I'm not a guru in any way, shape or form, I have done my fair share of what I needed to learn, what I needed to do, and how does that affect or get into the whole cybersecurity role? Now, there was, I'm going to go over a question that was proposed to me and I thought it was pretty interesting, right? Like how relatable is understanding, learning or developing your skills in programming has to do with cybersecurity. It really depends on the role that you're trying to fill. And I'm going to go through those, some of those details. And I'll also share with you my experience where I've sat in an interview with Google and they treated engineers, that name, that title engineer with a different level of understanding a programming language and being efficient in it. So what I'm going to be doing today is just going over a high level of why my understanding of what I've been through as far as programming and what I have done in past interviews where they asked me about like, oh, do you know Python? Do you know Java? And, uh, you know, I would more or less, I understand it, but that's not my daily thing, right? I don't use, I don't sit there and program all day using Python or Java, Ruby on Rails, Visual Basic, Visual Basic, well, my goodness. And uh, so that's, you know, that's irrelevant to my daily function nowadays, but that's not to say any other cybersecurity, depending on which department you're in or aspect of it, uh, pen testers should have a, well, you know, pretty decent knowledge of Python scripting, or, and I say scripting, and a lot of it's already pre-built, pre-written, and you can probably just cut and paste and build it out, utilize ChatGPT. The goal of this is not to reinvent the wheel. It's to utilize the tools that you have. But if you had to do everything from the bottom up, like from, the, from scratch, and you're working for a software company, yeah, most likely you're going to probably need to understand the language because, or whatever programming language that they utilize, because that's what they do. That's their business, right? So they want someone to understand all of that. Now, if you worked for another company that didn't build their own program and they just utilize a bunch of vendors, uh, case in point where I am now, I don't need to look at any, if ever, look at any programming language, maybe some scripts here and there, Visual Basic, I keep saying Visual Basic, PowerShell, PowerShell, my, uh, Windows PowerShell scripting. Uh, and it's not, not complex, right? It, it's very, uh, pretty, I would say basic in, in that level. And when I th I'm not talking about basic, the programming language, I meant just, you know, a, a simple comprehension of a programming language. You don't need to dive deep into it. You're not building out a new cryptocurrency. Although, um, I have touched on that as well and utilizing ChatGPT for that, but you gotten this far right now with three minutes in. please remember to hit that like comment, subscribe. You guys are flooding in and accepting me as a way to talk about cybersecurity. And, and I, I like the mingle between the people who are commenting. You're enjoying this. Please hit that subscribe button because it keeps me motivated and it makes me want to make more videos for you guys and more to discuss always. So I'm going to jump into this one thing right now and it was a comment that one of my uh subscribers have brought to my attention right uh besides enjoying my videos and subscribing too which is very fortunate to have you guys do that all that i like the originality and the insight you bring thank you as a person transitioning into cybersecurity career i appreciate your videos a lot please talk more about programming language needed to be successful in cybersecurity i am very rusty in python and bash script but i am passionate about learning them well I am going to go through that really briefly. So it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish. From my understanding, if you are a pen tester, you should have a better understanding and a very comprehensive knowledge of Python scripts or programming language, right? At least learn it to the point where you can actually write something and have it function properly, right? So you, you can, you, you're, you're, you're efficient enough to review it and from start to end without any issues uh, and you could probably paste and and modify it as you go and you, you know there's a lot of pre-written scripts i won't say that it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish but a lot of stuff is already out there but in short my my experiences i don't have to do any of that 
it really because I'm not a pen tester, right? And of course, there's now there, I, I've sat through interviews where, like I said, the Google interview that I went through, they were looking for a cybersecurity engineer. But this role, because Google was so specific about, you know, in-house development of applications, because Google is not going to take bits and pieces of some freeware or some script that someone built already and, and start using it for themselves. They want it from the ground up. Whether they modify it or, or develop it from the ground up, it's theirs, right? It's, you know, it becomes proprietary. It's Google stuff. And the position that I, I sat in with was really, really interesting because it was like, you have to be so well-rounded in order to sit in, a, a, not just sit in an interview with Google, but actually getting hired, right? So I, I definitely, I was fortunate enough to sit through an interview. I learned that experience. Did I think I had a chance of getting the job there? No, unfortunately, because my programming skills were not, not even close to what they were looking for. So this was very specific for a cybersecurity engineer, like an application specialist. So they were developing something new, right? Obviously it was confidential and they needed someone that understood uh, and it was requiring you to have like a certain percentage of each day that you would focus on building out this application with the programming language, with Python. And I said, no, oh, that's actually not what I do. And I wasn't sure of that position. I didn't realize that that position required so much attention to understanding Python from the beginning. So, you know, it didn't work out, but I was very fortunate to sit through that and I learned from them. And, you know, the recruiter, the Google recruiter, there was an in-house Google recruiter and they were like, hey, you know, maybe not this position, maybe something else along the lines of this will work for you, which is like a, like a you know cybersecurity engineer for networking, right? Uh, where it doesn't require a lot of uh, programming knowledge, programming language knowledge, and you didn't have to write anything for it. And you know, going back to what will utilize Python scripting a lot, a lot. If you you can automate so many things, you can understand it. Yes, programming language, learning that is definitely always a benefit. But remember, if you don't use it on your day to day, you kind of lose it as well, right? Because all the stuff that I've learned in the past were like, you know, C++, Visual Basic. I, I don't really, I mean, learned Java. I, I don't use it anymore. I don't really remember all of that. It's, it's probably changed a lot. And two, it, Visual Basic, no one even uses that anymore. But... You know, programming language was very, um, very difficult in, in my opinion when I was learning it. It was very deep, right? And you know programmers, they're, they're very like focused, they're like, you know, in the zone most of the time. So, you know, going back, you know, let's go to LinkedIn really quick. And, you know, I just typed in pen test within the United States, all right? And I, and I launched this particular job. Uh, I don't even know who they are. Pen tester associate, all right? Uh, so it's like almost entry level at this point. So we're just going to go through really briefly, like, all right, minimum of one year experience in cybersecurity. That's easy, right? But experienced with programming scripting language, Python, Rust, like you just have to know that. So, I mean, don't be surprised if you, you apply for this, you could be a seasoned cybersecurity specialist with like 10 years for myself, like for, for example, right? They may question like, why the hell would you want to do this now? or, you know, go into something that only requires one year of experience. But if they were to ask me any Python or Rust, it really depends on what kind of questions they would ask me. I would probably fail this part. And they will probably say, you know what? I don't think you qualify as a pen, uh, penetration tester associate. And I'll be like, I think you're right. I think you're right because that's not what I do. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of different avenues with cybersecurity. That's why if you're getting into a particular avenue of cybersecurity and it requires you to learn how to program, yes, then of course, right? Like going back to the original comment, you know, it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish. I don't, not sure, you, you didn't really state what did you want to do, but programming language needed to be successful in cyber. Talk more about that. I'm so I am, right? So yes and no, you don't really need it to be successful in cybersecurity. But it will be a plus 
but it, it brings you to a different place of what type of cybersecurity you want to do, right? And I'm just going to go back to the job listing really quick. Let's do, even this senior security analyst. Let's see if they require you to even have a, some kind of programming language knowledge, right? So let's go over really quickly responsibilities. I uh, haven't seen anything related to any type of programming. Desire skills, uh, experience and skills. Let's see if this requires you to have any of that. So right here, proficient in scripting language such as PowerShell, Python, or Bash. I can get away with the PowerShell depending on what it is that they want me to do, right? Proficient. Well, I'm not going to say I'm going to guru or anything. I don't have no certification to prove that I am. And, you know, during the interview process, depending on who you speak with as far as the technician, they may grill you on these three things right you know you know they may show you or ask you a high level like oh if i have this script that does this what what would it produce right and you know they'll probably name it out or, or kind of give your imagination for running the wild and whether it's powershell python or bash they may you know ask you what type of you know programming structure right scripting structure that that most people would do which is, you know, that's why I can't even explain it correctly because I don't even know what they would ask you. But, you know, that's a senior security analyst and they probably, the minimum of two years related experience in information security. So that's a senior already. You have to have at least two years. All right, let's pick one more because, and I, I of course I picked up pen test, right? So let's do this. Um, SOC, let's see, SOC analyst, analyst. Um, Sock Anna L Y S T. Let's see if that comes up. All right, so cybersecurity analyst, sock analyst. All right, so let's see if this particular position requires you to know any type of scripting language. Um, I'm going to say before I even continue looking, I'm going to guess yes, but it really is just to fill white space on the paper because I don't know any sock analyst that require that knows any type of scripting language or requires them to use it while doing SAC SOC analyst positions. Okay. So let's go over really quick. Um, two years experience. Okay. Familiar with uh, security technology to Sims. Okay. That's a very gooey, you know, most of them would be gooey, uh, point and click stuff, uh, TCP IP. So networking protocols. Okay. So far so good. There's nothing here. Basic understanding of malware analysis. Strong analytical and program solving skills. So we're not looking at, at, at any programming so far. Oh, there it goes. Knowledge of scripting language, Python, PowerShell, etc. for automation and data analysis. So the way they're kind of wording it here is that I may be able to get away with this one, meaning I know enough of PowerShell. I may know enough about Python, but it's script, a knowledge of scripting language right? For automation and data analysis. It really depends. I mean, if, if you get lucky and you sit through an interview and, and they ask you a very basic question about PowerShell or Python, and they would just use that and say, oh, this guy knows their stuff in, in regards to PowerShell or Python. But if they start diving deep, if this position, and, and I'm pretty sure that this position is not all focused on Python or PowerShell, because if it was, it'll be listed on the top criteria of what is required. And you can see, besides having your bachelor's in computer science, they want you to have at least two years. And right off the bat, they're telling you that. And everything else is, if you know all this for the most part, right? If you know all this up into the programming part portion of it, you're probably not, your main duties or this role is not going to be about Python and PowerShell. That's just my opinion. So always good to know and the only way you would know for a position is by sitting through multiple interviews just apply 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 but if you want to put it in your resume that you know python or powershell then perform some functions of it you whether it's you know some free stuff that's online or watch some youtube videos and you understand the the differences between powershell and python and all the certain you know programming language then fine do that uh, but you know, when, if the question comes up, don't lie. All right. Don't, because you'll be called out right away. The problem is actually it's not a problem. The thing is you will understand the concepts. You would understand how to read out these scripts. You may not be able to produce them, but your understanding your, the level of knowledge within it 
is based on what you consume as far as you learned it. You know it, but you're not a guru, right? Just because I know how to drive a car doesn't mean I'm qualified to go into the NASCARs or, you know, driving for a championship. I understand the basic concepts of it. And that's probably what they're looking to do because uh, for, automa for automation and data analysis, knowledge of scripting language, it's probably because they have something already existing and whether they're trying to modify it or build on top of it, but not, you're not most likely for a low level SOC analyst, you're not going to be responsible for building that on the ground up unless you're really switching professions and getting into all that. All right. So that's pretty much for today. I, I hope I answered that question as far, you know, in regards to programming language and cybersecurity, they do work hand in hand. Everything requires it, but not every role is going to use that as the primary basis of your job function or your duties. All right. It really depends on what you're looking to do. So if you, if you come back and that subscriber, if you come back and tell me, oh, you want again to pen test, then I will say yes. And but if you say you want to become a SOC analyst, I say understand the concepts, but not necessarily have to dive any deeper than that, because there's so much more you need to understand pro more than, your, your, you know, in, re in regards to understanding the, the function of a SOC analyst is not about sitting there writing Python and, and Visual Basic scripts. OK. All right. So that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys for being here. And please remember to hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.